Illinois lawmakers recently cut the grocery tax from the state's fiscal year 2025 budget. That will take effect January 1 of 26. Well, the mayor of Mount Vernon believes this could have a huge impact on his town and others across the state. News 3's Waylon Wells Parker takes a closer look. Some shoppers in Illinois could see some changes to their grocery receipts in 2025. That's because lawmakers removed the grocery tax from the state's budget. And one shopper, Pam Shelter, says less tax is better. When you're retired and you're living on a fixed income, every, every little coupon helps. In February, when Illinois Governor J.D. Prisker was seeking to eliminate the grocery tax, he said the tax was regressive and with its elimination, it could save hundreds of dollars for a family across a year. I only shop when I absolutely have to, but I feel sorry for the families that are feeding a lot of kids and, you know, it's just, groceries are expensive. But some municipalities are not happy with the cut. Mount Vernon's mayor, John Lewis, says the money from the tax goes back to their city's budget. None of it went to the state. So it was kind of like uh, the state was uh, able to get positive attention. Lewis says the grocery tax would go to city projects like fixing the roads or other local services that Mount Vernon provides. It's $1.2 million out of our budget every year that we will not see. Without the tax, when shoppers spend $100, they will save $1. But Lewis says it may have an impact on saving money for those in the middle or upper class. Free prices are not high because of the 1% tax. They've risen 26% over the last five years due to inflation. However, local governments can add their own grocery tax. At least that the city of Mount Vernon is doing everything we can not to institute this tax. And as a member of the Illinois Municipal League with 1,294 other mayors, I do know many communities have no choice but to reinstate this tax. They cannot take those kind of cuts. In Mount Vernon, Waylon Walls Parker, News 3.